What is going on you guys? Brandon here, AKA Rawadis. And today, I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. And what we have here, Rajal, what are these called? Guys, this is my mom's sister for those fuck. who don't know. Huh? Fuck. No, not fuck. They're called figs. Fuck. <laughs> so, <laughs> Rajal actually picked all these figs from the tree outside. Rajal, where's Luna? Outside. Okay, guys, I'm gonna try to show you the tree. They have the scariest cat. Every time you walk past it, oh wait, it's not even focused. Every time you walk past the cat, it goes <laughs> with his fangs or her fangs. Raja, is she really outside? Okay, guys, so Raja goes up into the tree and she picks all the figs. And I came to get some for my dad. My dad loves the figs, so we're gonna surprise my dad at home with fresh hand picked figs. A whole tray. Rajat calls them fucks, but they're actually figs. Listen, usually I'm not scared of animals, but Luna is scary. Luna. No, Rajat, I think she's inside, I swear. Yeah, I'll find her. Guys, last night I was supposed to sleep in the room upstairs, but apparently Luna sleeps there and they didn't tell me, so I said no way. And I went and slept in a different room and I locked the door, because cats are smart, so I feel like she knew how to open that door. So Jessica tricked me. She said I could sleep in here and that the cat wouldn't be in here. But look what I walk into. Luna, get out, please. No, 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 no. Yeah, just leave her there. I'll go sleep in the other room, I swear, Jessica. Just let her, just close the door with her in here and I'll leave. Luna, you can kiss me. No, come on. Luna. Raja, I have no idea where she's at. Luna, I have a mouse. Wait, Raja, did she really open the door when I was sleeping yesterday? I told you guys she knew how to open it. Good thing I didn't wake up. I swear I would have had a heart attack if I woke up. Ilakhot. She's under, Raja? Okay, guys, so she's under the bed. Luna. Oh my gosh. Luna. Luna, come here. I need vlog footage. Let's go. Let's go. Come here. Let's you go. want a treat? You want food? Oh my gosh. She's so scary. Go for a walk. So last night they tried to trick me. They set me up a mattress right here and I walk in and Luna's on the bed. The whole time before I came, Raja, I kept telling Jessica, wait, Jess, where does Luna sleep? A million times. She does not sleep in my room, Brandon. She doesn't sleep in my room. I walk in, she's on the bed. And they wanted me to sleep right there. So I said, no, I came in and I slept right here with Jay. But he's asleep, I think. Okay, Rajat, thank you for the figs. I'm gonna go surprise my dad with them, so we'll see his reaction. Apparently, that's what it's his favorite food or what, Rajat? Okay, Rajat, bye. So, yeah, guys, I came all the way over to get these from my dad. Guys, this is what I hate about living at the new house. When, when we used to live at our old house, Rajat's house was like five minutes away from me. And Rajat isn't the only person that lives here. Jessica lives here. So, I miss Jessica. And then also, Jay lives here. You guys already know Jay. This house used to be like five minutes away when I lived around here. Now, I had to drive 35 minutes just to get here. It went from being five minutes away to 35 minutes and then also you guys already know fuck boy he lives right down the street so his house used to be five minutes away ever since we moved we're way farther from our family but it's all good we'll get used to it and now it's time to go surprise my dad one two three four five six seven eight figs guys I don't like when people think that a surprise has to be like some super expensive gift or some really, really huge surprise. Not, it's honestly, even the little things matter. Something like figs that my dad's gonna be like, oh, how'd you know I liked figs? It's just like the, some little things can even be the best surprises. Oh shoot, I forgot my freaking driver's license. Shout out to Rajat. Thank you. Bye, Rajat. Thank you. But yeah, guys, I know so many people that are really, really materialistic and they'll be like, oh, you got someone a surprise? How much money was it? How much did it cost? And honestly, I'm telling you guys, sometimes the most expensive surprises are not even good. And the littlest, smallest surprises are the best. And let me tell you what, it's not the money that counts. It's not how big the surprise is. It's here. 
It's the thought that counts. My dad's gonna be like, damn, I haven't had these in so long. They're freshly picked. You drove all the way 35 minutes away. You know, you got them from your mom's sister. It's little things like that that are gonna make him super happy. So, um, yeah, we'll go see what my dad thinks about this. He has no idea I'm here. No! Every time I drive these streets, it reminds me of when we used to live around here. So many memories! I lived here for 17 years and now we moved away. This feels like home. This area feels like home. Not where I moved. Every time I drive down here, it just like, this area feels like home to me. And this shopping center is where I worked. Not at Home Depot, but deep in there. It's at a grocery store. I worked there for almost two years. Over here is where I went to college for three years. Just like everything here reminds me of so many things. Okay guys, so we are home right now. I wanna see my dad's reaction to the figs. I wanna see a normal animal, AKA Bosley, and not the wild cat. And I also wanna see my brother who was in the hospital yesterday. I talked to him all night yesterday. He's feeling way better, but I haven't seen him face to face because when I was on my way to the hospital, they told me not to come because they were about to leave. And I wanna see my brother. Sup, fellas? Dad, I have a uh, gift for you. Hey, Bosley, the normal animal, unlike Luna. Bosley's here. Dad, we got fresh hand picked tetany. I think that's what they're called. Figs from Rajat. Fig? Fig. Oh my god. From her, from her trees? Yeah, from her trees. Hand picked. Rajat said he would, Rajat said he likes those. You picked it? Uh, I would pick it, but Luna was roaming around, so I was scared to go up in the tree. Mom, do you like... No, Dad, I swear it's not a prank. You want me to turn the... See, this is what I hate about living in the Awadis household. I could just tell right away from his face when I gave him the thing, he thought it was a prank. Look, look at this. No, because he thinks it's a prank, Mom. Dad, I swear to you, I'll show you the footage right now on the camera, Reja. Yeah, I don't think Reja would give them without washing. No prank for once. Oh my god, I haven't had this for a while. Thank you, Brandon. You're welcome. Wow. Mom, do you like them too? Mm, but you love them more. Oh, wait, guess what? Get, guess who I'm seeing tonight? Yeah. Fetty Wap. No, I no. swear he's coming oh, to San Diego. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Rockin, shout out to you. My cousin oh, is a huge yeah. Fetty Wap fan, but he's in Houston, Texas. So, oh, Mom, yeah. I didn't even know he was coming. Someone sent me a screenshot. He's in yeah. downtown San Diego. No way. Yeah, so we're going to Fetty Wap tonight. Me, Jessica. Uh, we're, I'm gonna try to get Brian to come if he's feeling better. I don't know if well, he, can. he be, yeah, because of hitting six million. That's what I'm saying, guys. My brother hit six mil in the hospital. <laughs> That's I don't know. I feel bad. Let's go see him. Six milli, six milli, six milli, six milli, six milli. Mr. Six Mil. Oh my gosh. Look at this sick little bastard. <laughs> Literally <laughs> sick. How are you feeling? Good, I'm actually feeling like a lot better today. Really? Yeah. Guys, last night, or not even at night, like during the day, I didn't even know what happened. My mom, I just saw my mom and dad, whatever, Brian got rushed to the hospital and I don't know, what did they that say was it was? Like, I think it was like too much like anxiety and stress. Exactly, that was one of the things and they said uh, my eating habits and oh, then dehydration. Sure. Damn, no, I knew it was anxiety and stress because remember how you just made that video the other day about being stressed and then yeah. you, how you're about to hit six mil, like. Yeah, I think like there's just so much like, like going on at once. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> is it contagious, your malaria? No, I'm good, I'm good, guys. Like, um, like I literally just like collapsed at home and then when I went, they like quickly got like an IV and um, like just like did like a lot of tests and then um, they released me later on in the night and they just said like just relax and uh, Nothing to be stressed about and then I realized like I put too much stress on myself like there's nothing to be stressed about So like I'm just gonna relax from now on and Brian hit six mil in the hospital when I saw the picture of you with the 6 M I was just like, oh my god, in the hospital, that's like the, at least you'll never forget it That's, the, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, I'll never forget that. But, but guys, don't worry Where are you coming tonight? 
Oh, <laughs> Fetty Wap, baby. Fetty Wap. Brian's coming to Fetty Wap. Brian, Fetty Wap makes everything better, no matter That's if you're sick. I'm literally going to sit my ass in this bed all day and rest up just for Fetty Wap, just so I could be like completely fine. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, guys. You already know, Fetty Wap, like my intro was Fetty Wap when I first started YouTube. My background wait. music, but the background music is probably going to be playing right now. Din, 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 din. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I can't wait. Brian's coming. Thankfully, Brian's feeling better. Brian, that's when I was like on the way to the hospital when I saw you with the 6M balloons, and then you guys told me that you were already going to yeah, leave. We were, yeah. So I'm like, okay, Brian. Okay, Brian, rest up for tonight because I want you to be... Damn, so we got Brian in on tonight. It's gonna be super fun, guys. Fetty Wap, I know, is not the greatest artist, but I like Fetty Wap. You know, you know how people have those certain artists that they like, and other people are like, why do you like this guy? He doesn't make good music. That's that's Fetty Wap to me. A lot of people, when they find out I like Fetty Wap, they're like, bro, why? He only has like three or four good songs. I don't know why. I just like Fetty Wap. So I'm really excited to see, see him tonight. I think it's gonna be a ton of fun. And now that Brian's coming, guys, I got something to say regarding football season so you guys know me brandon aka verwatis i'm always talking about basketball no matter what it is or who i'm with i'm always talking about basketball but what a lot of people don't know is that i'm actually a big football fan i watch every single chargers game and i used to love the san diego chargers before they got taken away to la but Anyways, guys, football season is here. Football season's back. Preseason is on. And I should start talking about football more because as much as I love basketball, let's face it, football is the bigger sport. Oh, for those that are not from this country, because I know I have a lot of viewers out of the USA, fo by football, I mean... I don't mean this. I mean like American football. But anyways, the, the segment I'm trying to do right now is to answer everybody's question. I always get tweets, I always get people asking me, yo Brandon, you're from San Diego, born and raised, you lived there your whole life, you've been a San Diego Chargers fan for your whole life, like I said, I watch every single Chargers game. Me and my dad actually used to have season tickets, we used to go to the stadium every single Chargers game and watch San Diego Chargers. So for those who don't know, they moved to LA, they moved from San Diego, this is going to be their first season as the Los Angeles Chargers. San Diego Chargers are done, no more. And I get asked every day, Brandon, are you still a Chargers fan or have you picked a new team? Living in San Diego, let me just say it's 50-50, there are half the people that are like, you know, mm, screw the Chargers, they moved from San Diego to LA, we don't like them anymore, I'm picking a new team, or I'm not gonna watch football anymore, I hate the Chargers. And then the other half are kinda like, you know, we love the Chargers so much that it sucks that they left, but we're still gonna rock with them, we're still gonna roll with them. Let me tell you, no one in San Diego is happy that they left. Nobody's happy, but you got to make the decision. Are you going to stick with the Chargers that they moved to L.A., or are you going to pick a new team? And the reason I haven't answered this, even though I get the question every day, is because I didn't know. I didn't know what to do. I was so hurt and disappointed that the Chargers left San Diego and went to L.A. that, you know, there were times where I'm like, you know what? Screw this. I'm not, I'm not even a football fan anymore. I'm not a football fan anymore. But then there were other times where I'm like, you know what? I love the Chargers, that's my team. Phillip Rivers, Antonio Gates, I love them. Let me get this straight, never for one second did I say I'm gonna pick a new team. That's just not the type of person I am. I don't know why. When I've cheered for a team before, I just, I can never envision myself cheering for another team. So never for once did I say, oh, the Chargers left, I'm gonna pick a new team. No, my decisions were either one, stop watching football. I was so mad and hurt that I was just gonna stop rooting for a team or I would probably still watch football but I just wouldn't cheer for any team or stick with the Chargers. And I think my decision, as much as you know, it's gonna be weird rooting for the Los Angeles Chargers, I'm gonna have to stick with them, bro. You know, I can't ever root against Phillip Rivers. I can't ever see myself rooting against Antonio Gates, Keenan Allen. It's just like, I don't know, they're, that's my team. Growing up, it's season tickets, watching all the games. So yes, it sucks that they moved. I hate it. I hate that they're not the San Diego Chargers, but I'm still rocking with them. I have to. I have to. I feel like it's not going to be the same. I'm not going to be as passionate, but I can't just drop all the love I have for that team. And regarding all that, the San... Oh my gosh, I was about to say the San Diego Chargers. The LA Chargers play their first preseason game tonight against the Seahawks. I know there's a lot of Seahawks fans out there, so... uh it's just preseason, but good luck to your team. Good luck to my team, I guess we'll say. Guys, I just made that decision today. Just today, because preseason was starting. I was like, Brandon, wake up. You got to decide. 
Are you just gonna watch football without following any team? Or are you still gonna be a Chargers fan? And you know, it's not gonna be the same, but at the end of the day, I can't be rooting against Phillip, Gates, and all those guys. So I can't wait for tonight. I'm gonna watch that game before going to the Fetty Wap concert. Me, no. No? No. Does any team leave my city? I'm not gonna follow them. I so. told you guys, it's 50-50 here in San Diego. Half the people are gonna follow them, yeah. and half. Now I feel bad for my dad, because it's gonna be boring watching football without I love the Chargers, and I want to see him go farther, but the owners and mm -hmm. all this stupid bullshit they messed in up. the city and stuff, so. When they take my team, I'm, I'm done. Yep, see, I told you guys, 50-50 <sighs> in this Heart city. 50-50. Otherwise, the Chargers playing. You know, tonight was gonna happen. Like we're always barbecuing. Yeah, we would have barbecued. Everybody would have came over. It no sucks. More. We're gonna miss those parties. Yep. Delegate, baby. No more delegating. Damn, sports really like are such a big yeah. part. Like, I don't know. That's crazy, guys. But I feel bad for my dad. It's gonna be boring watching football without a team. Like, no, no incentive to root for anybody. Hey, it's a Sunday today. There's a football. There's I'm watching what. <laughs> So, yeah, so look at this, there? guys. This isn't right. <laughs> to San Diego ownership who didn't keep the team in San Diego and left to LA. It's football Sunday, and you have my dad watching freaking soap operas. It's not right. Yeah, I don't even know who this is, Dad. <laughs> this isn't right. You guys took my dad's team. Did you at least enjoy the figs, Dad? Oh, yeah, I love them. Uh, it's another one. Now that you know it's not a prank, Dad, I don't think you're supposed to eat the inside. My mom was telling me, oh, he didn't look too happy. Yeah, that's because he thought it was a prank. He was happy, but that's what happens when you live in this household. Uh, 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 what is this? You couldn't wait for the website to open. You had to steal the samples. <laughs> Guys, I'm just joking. This is Brian's sample. In case you're wondering, this is my new merch, new apparel that does not drop until a couple more days. But remember, either Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm not sure exactly which day, but either way, it's in a couple days. The new merch is dropping. I already had so many people tell me that they love the design, they love the style. So be sure to check it out on Tuesday or Wednesday and cop your own. I hope to see all you guys wearing it around your school or your job, wherever you want. Look, we got some more right here. We got two different designs, two different colors, white or black and two different styles. This is the first time I've came out with two different styles at once. Usually it's just one, and I feel like that's it just too limited. So I said let's do two different styles, and we'll see which one you guys like more. Okay guys, I'm here to close out today's vlog now. I know it was something quick, short, but I just wanted to go surprise my dad with the figs, and <laughs> it's even better, it's like a double surprise because my mom liked them too. Yeah. So that's good, and just check up Thank on my you, brother. Dad. Mom, and I told them, don't worry, I, I didn't forget to mention how we used to live five minutes away from her, and now, now we live so far. My mom, my mom was upset about that too. She used to always be at Rajah's house, and that's her sister. I'll so. be back soon. <laughs> so, so yeah, guys, just like a short little vlog, pretty much a surprise to my dad, an update on my brother, and finding out that we're going to Fetty Wap tonight. If you don't have me on Snapchat, be sure to add me. It's just Brawadis. My YouTube name, that's my Snapchat name. I'll be posting a lot of Snapchats of Fetty Wap. Dad, in honor of Fetty Wap. When a single is over, when a I'll send you a Snapchat of that tonight, a yeah. video, yeah. Oh, he's, he's doing his yeah, he's doing his singing. That's what I'm saying. We're going. Okay, what is it? What is it? Wanna get a soda? Wanna boozy soda? Yeah. You got the tone right. I don't know about the lyrics. Bosley, say bye. I hope you enjoyed. And other than that, Bawadis, I'm out. Papa. Mama, peace. Out. Oh, Dad, we forgot to do the thumbnail where you hold the fade and you go. Oh, yeah. And I sit next to you and the surprise for Papa Rug. Yeah, okay. Well, actually, just here, we'll wait till after you cook it. We don't want the house to burn down. He already turned the so flame on. Down.